Good, Good morning, morning Panthers. Panthers. Welcome back to another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Oliver Herrera. And I'm Holly Schmidt. Bring Bringing charge the latest to you. you. Today after school is the senior class spike night and tomorrow is the sophomore class car wash. Monday there's a junior class dinner night at Chipotle and a running for class or SGA office meeting after school in Ms. Parks' room. Tuesday after school is a DECA meeting and a high school lip dub and Wednesday is a blood drive. Thursday is an early release day, a jeans day and a key club meeting after school. Hey Panthers, welcome to another amazing episode of CSPN. I'm your host, Emily Panico. Monday there's a varsity softball game at 4.30 at Pinecrest. Tuesday, there's a varsity baseball game at Pine Trails Park at 7 against Somerset. There's also a varsity track and field meet at Eli Park. There's also a varsity girls lacrosse game against North Broad Prep at 5. And then there's also a varsity boys lacrosse game at 4.30 against Coral Springs High. There's also a varsity tennis match against North Broad Prep at 3. Wednesday, there's a varsity girls lacrosse game against Fort Lauderdale High at 4. There's also a varsity boys lacrosse game at LaSalle at 5. And then there's also a varsity tennis match at St. Thomas at 3. Seniors, important announcement. If you have been participated in two varsity sports and you have over a 3.0 GPA, you qualify for a court. So talk to Ms. Brand about it to get your court for graduation. Thanks for watching another amazing episode of CSPN. See you next week, Panthers. Thanks, CSPN. Now here's Fine Arts. Good morning, Panthers. And welcome back to another episode of Fine Arts News. I'm Ash Atkinson. And I'm Kayla Humphrey. And tonight at seven o'clock, we have a cup of joe in the auditorium lobby. The cost is five dollars at the door and refreshments and snacks will be available for purchase. So come out and show your talents or even come and just watch. No, like guys, like for real, come out. Gosh. It's five dollars, I swear to you. Like, I know you see these people and like, you got a red problem club, all right? It's five dollars, I'm serious, you got five dollars. I know you guys do, all right? Come out, cause I, this is serious. This is gonna be a great time. Come out. I'm so. What's up, Panthers? I'm Fernando Manji here bringing your fine arts news. This past Monday through Wednesday, there was a dance concert held in the auditorium. We interviewed one of the momentum dancers. Come check it out. Technically, we've been starting to practice for the dance concert since the beginning of the year because we usually include our pep rally dance inside the dance concert and throughout the rest of the year we start practicing more and more dances that we'll include into it and basically I'd say third, fourth week, once we're settled in, we'll start getting our work done that we need to. Honestly, I think everybody feels nervous about the performances. It's when you're dancing, when you're singing, when you're doing anything. Um, I know that I definitely do and it probably resonate with my friends in dance. It's confidence that we exude on stage, but we all go through little show jitters before. In the concert, I think we have about four performances. We start off with um, the pep rally dance and then we'll go into honor flight. Each of us have about a trio or a quartet, or I'll call it a small group dance that we do. And then we have the opening dance. So that's about four for each of us, to be honest. My favorite is probably the Cardi B remix that we use for pep rally or follow the leader. Um, I just think those are really fun dances and it's something that I enjoy doing a lot. Thank you so much, Kayla. That was the most beautiful interview I've ever seen in my life. That's it for this week, guys. See you next time. Thanks, Fine Arts. Now here's Behind the ID. Hi, my name is Miguel Trejo. I'm a sophomore. The reason why that I like doing drop is it's not just because of how much passion I put into it, but also to work on my speech impediment and talking more with others than just myself. I started drama at freshman year. So, the reason that I did drama was 
was well first first of all I I had to get another elective and so I did and and when I started started in Miss Butler's class I I was seeing everyone who was like like different in many ways and seeing seeing how how happy they were to be part of drama and and when when I started doing doing something in that class I felt like I can express of who who I am and and not just being being in inside a but inside a bubble and 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 when I started started this at the beginning of the year from from doing like completely Hollywood abridged that that was like my first time do, doing a that was my first show in, in the school and I, I felt like I, I kind of like this and and it it's this was an, an amazing experience to see how, how how much effort that that we all put in together and and from acting from from different parts and seeing how the topic represents another of how acting works and from Legally Blonde I it was an amazing experience because of how it was different from from the last time. Like a butt light up. Oh my god! Wait a minute, your time is up! I had to do a serious goddess teaser showing up on my ass! And it also helped helped me making making new friends because because I'm I'm that that person who is like mostly shy all, all the time and, and doesn't talk to many people. And and now I was so glad to be like Seeing people knowing me that that I, I'm part of something, and I'm, I'm not, and that and that I'm not ashamed shame to to show it. Thanks, behind Daddy. Now here's student life. Good morning, Panthers, and welcome back. I don't know if you've noticed, but we lost an entire hour of sleep, and it's affected a bunch of people, including me, in the worst possible ways. Let's talk about that. <laughs> My name's Nick, Nick Medwin. Um, I don't really like daylight savings. I'm tired all day. Um, I want to sleep, but I lost an hour, so I can't. Um, it's useless, we should probably not have it. Yeah. My name is Jaden Fido. Uh, daylight savings has affected me because the lack of sunlight in the mornings really puts me off. It makes me even more tired than I already was. And also when I get to school, because I lost an hour of sleep, I feel extra tired and it's really hard to focus on my schoolwork and try to keep on task with everything that's going on. Um, personally, I think that daylight shaving shouldn't be a thing because first of all, I'd rather have it where it's not, I don't lose an hour of sleep and waking up early in the morning, it's gonna be dark outside. Like, it's better and it's better for me, I guess because I always, everyone gives an hour of sleep and when we wake up in the morning, it's not gonna be as dark. Thank you students. I hope it's not affecting a lot of you too hard. And for the ones that it is affecting, I hope you get your rest. I'm gonna get my rest. Uh, good night and I'll see you next week and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Hey Panthers! Welcome back to another week of student life. I'm Carly Sotilli and I'm Madison Foster. On Friday, March 19th, International Club is hosting a cultural cafe from 6 to 8 p.m. in the cafeteria. Don't miss out on the amazing performances, many activities, and food from all around the globe. These teachers will be giving out extra credit if you attend. Tickets are $5 from Tatiana Torres, Miss Munoz, and Madame Francis, as well as any member a part of International Club. Hope everyone has an amazing weekend. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Thanks, Student Life. Now here's SGA.
Yo, why is everyone dancing? They're getting ready for lift up. It's March 19th at 2.45. That makes sense. Yeah. Once a panther, panther, always a panther. Thanks, SGA. Now here's NHS. Hey Panthers, I'm Plenty Rio Husk in the Commission Chambers of the New City Hall. On March 2nd, National Honor Society, along with other schools, participated in the waterway cleanup, organized by the Marine Industry Association of South Florida. National Honor Society members get up early at 8 o'clock to collect over 25 pounds of garbage at the end of the day. Thanks for watching the National Honor Society update. See you next week. Oh, hey! Hey, dude. Come here. Did you hear about LitMag? They're taking submissions up until April 15th. Oh my god, that's so cool. I've been working on some stuff, actually. Really? Oh my god, Pauline, how are we gonna get this promo done? You waited last minute. We have to promote these shirts for Light It Up Blue. Gosh, how are they gonna know that the shirts are $12 that we're selling in the lobby, C&D lunches during the next week, and how are they gonna know that it's for Light It Up Blue, which promotes autism awareness? How are they gonna know? Where are you, Pauline? I've been looking for you. When we get back from spring break, Friday is the Sadie Hawkins dance. And Saturday is Relay for Life. Thanks for watching another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Oliver Herrera. And I'm Holly Schmidt. Bring Charles Latest to you. Bye. Have a nice break.